looks like it's going to be De Havilland who takes it. No, it's actually the other guy who floats it in and it floats all the way past almost everybody. But uh, on this occasion, we go straight to penalties after 90 minutes. So, you know, that might just work in Maidstone's favour, it might not. It's uh, Marshall for Maidstone, just outside the area, lays it off to Pinnam Williams, Pinnam Williams into the box. Pinnam Williams goes for goal, does he? It uh, goes about a yard over. Was he trying to shoot there, do you think? Yeah, I think he was. I think he just couldn't keep it down. And Easy for uh, Barton to deal with. And he bolts it underarm for Mamadou Job. Plays a long right-footed ball forward, looking for Josh Shonibau. And uh, just well to hold that up. Good ball into the area. Fowler running forward. Could be a chance here for Maidstone. There is a chance. Yay! And it's a goal for Maidstone. Rory it's Rory Deacon. Deacon. Proper has a throw in for Barnett. Throws it towards the edge of the area. It uh, bounces awkwardly in the box. Could be a chance here, but Barton is uh, smartly off his line. So Barnett with a corner on that far side. Cooks towards the near post and it's headed in. It's the equaliser for Barnett. It's the number three decision coming back to haunt Maidstone rather than non award of the free kick. We'll have to see it on the highlights. But it's 1 1 here. And it's Finley Potter with a header from a corner. Barnett being forced backwards here. So eventually they do manage to get a partial clearance on it. Might be intercepted by Binner Williams. And now Marshall might have a chance to run here. Marshall towards the edge of the area. Marshall cuts inside. Marshall shoots and it's just wide. Well, he was looking for Marshall. Marshall doesn't get there. And now Binner Williams is under a bit of pressure. And he's lost out here. There could be a chance for Barnett. They're into the area. They square it. Barton saves at the near post. But it's not been cleared yet. And it's just about hacked clear by uh, Bone, I think it was self-inflicted danger for uh, Maidstone there it's still not been cleared it's going to go out for a corner here this is on the near side as Barnett attacked the Elvis end in the first half ball is floated in bounces around the area and somehow it's cleared it's uh, awkward it's still not been cleared this should be the second it is the second it's 2-1 uh, to Barnett and Maidstone really only got themselves to blame there. touch I think it was Potter again yeah Again, not picking up the same as similar to Tuesday night, not picking up the, the player on the back post, but had multiple chances there to clear that ball. Multiple That's Maystone players had the chance to head it away, but none of them did, and uh, Potter found himself all alone on the back post for an easy tap-in. Goes into the area, good play by him. He goes down looking for a penalty, doesn't get one. The attack is still live, ball is crossed into the middle, it might fall for Josh Shonif Bear, it might fall for Odesanya, Odesanya will chip it back towards Wanjar Smith, and Wanjar Smith could have... Now, Josh Shonif Bear on the right-hand side, chance to cross, puts it into the area, might fall for Gurung, he doesn't quite get a clean contact on it, and now it's booted all the way downfield, where uh, Barden is going to have to deal with it, and now Barden is surely going to be 3-1 here, is it? No, it's a foul, I think at... Uh, Linesman's given that one, the assistant. Rory Deacon. Bow knocks that forward for Sol Wanjiao Smith to chase. Good first touch by the winger. But uh, he's rather bundled out of it. And then now Sol Wanjiao Smith on the left-hand side into the area. Good run by him. He's gone down. He's going to get a penalty. penalty. And it's That's a penalty really. for Maidstone. He just dangled his leg there, really, didn't he? I mean, Wendell Smith got the ball past him. Referee just telling players to get back. Whistle blows, one Jow Smith steps up and scores! And it's a Panenka. What a hit from one Jow Smith, that is. Absolute style for his first goal in a Mason shirt. And uh, nerves of steel there, really. He's strolled up and just chipped it while the keeper dives and Mason find themselves level and I think you have to say that uh, on the basis of the way they've started this second half I think they fully deserve it so it's going to be taken by Jerome Binner Williams who's going to throw it short to um, Booty Binner Williams being challenged by Kanu, rolls his player, gets the ball into the area, it might fall for Fowler, Fowler plays it back into the box, Barham will hook the shot just over the bar. And uh, another good move by Maidstone, Barnett asking the linesman why there wasn't a flag. 
to Haviland, two hands in the air. Chips this one towards the edge of the area. Barham is the player underneath it to header, and that is the final whistle. So this game will be decided by penalties. Regan Booty to take first for Maidstone. Booty steps up and scores. Well taken penalty goes to the uh, keeper's left. So we've got Pritchard, the Barnet yeah. captain, steps up for the visitors to try and equalise. Pritchard will shoot and Pritchard will score. Barnet uh, level it 1 1 after one penalty each to the left hand side. And now it's Dominic Odesanya for Maidstone. Odesanya with a complicated run up, stuttering, shoots and scores. They always make me nervous, run-ups <laughs> yeah, like that. I do, they definitely. Well, it goes back to Savon Hines when he used to do that, didn't he? Raucous atmosphere in the Elvis end now as uh, all the Maidstone fans are waving their hands behind that goal. Cavamba steps up and Cavamba scores easily. Barden decided to stay in the middle there. And uh, unfortunately for him, he took a step the wrong way. Wonjao uh, Smith steps up, shoots and puts it into the bar. So De Havilland for Barnett to give them the lead in the shootout. De Havilland against Barden. De Havilland shoots and De Havilland scores. Barden went the right way, but it was just too well placed by De Havilland since uh, signing for Maidstone. Looks like it's going to be a short run up. Shoots, scores. Three all. Good penalty that but one. Remember, Barnett still have an extra penalty to take. Very good penalty produce something in these final two penalties. Carno steps up, shoots and scores. Sends Barden the wrong way. Barden took the step the wrong way. Went back the right way, but he just couldn't get near it. Barham has to score or Maidstone are out. Barham steps up, shoots and it's saved and Maidstone are out of the FA Trophy. Absolutely sickening result for the Stones here. But uh, Barnett held their nerve in a penalty shootout. And it is Barnett who will go through to the semi-finals.